Workers were out in the beaches Monday removing graffiti from the city's less than a year old skateboard park. It is an issue that uh, people feel strongly about because it indicates that there's some level of decay or problem. Local city councillor Sandra Busson is hoping a new push to re-examine how the city deals with graffiti will help wash away a lot more of the urban blight. Let's look at our strategies, what worked, what hasn't worked, and again, let's see what other cities have been doing to try to address this problem. As the sun revealed Sunday, Busson wants her fellow councillors to review Toronto's campaign against graffiti including a report on the London, Ontario ban that prohibits retailers from selling markers and spray paint to people under 18. So far, Buston said she's gotten a positive response from residents and frustrated businesses about her fight to ban the can. Graffiti removal experts say banning the sale of spray paint doesn't work. Instead, they say a repeated and dedicated effort to wash away the graffiti as it turns up usually turns taggers off and eventually they go elsewhere. But as the Ash Bridges Skateboard Park shows, it can be a frustrating task for the Toronto Sun on Don Pete.